What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. All right, guys, continuing on with Double Feature Friday, we got another thing for Profile Alpha B. So we are finishing up, uh, well, no, you're not finishing up. Well, it depends on how it goes. The Blender Crusade, all right? This is by Brava Alpha Busa. So let's see. Uh, last time we were left it, uh, Big D was laughing his ass off because he was going to try to steal. Yes, this is stealing, people. Don't do this. Steal a blender from a 99p store by telling everybody it was 99p, which is really dumb because everybody knows it's not 99p. The only place you'd be able to find one like that is maybe a thrift store or a Goodwill or something. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> I would simply have to paste this 99p price tag onto their blender. Then I could simply waltz to the registry, purchase it for the appropriate price, and quickly make my getaway. They would be none the wiser. Dude, you think you're the first person to try that? Okay, so blender, blender, blender. Where is uh What the fuck? Where are the blenders? No, oh, they don't have any. I begin walking. But this isn't enough. I begin power walking. I can't. I'm at soup. The what do you mean you're at soup? I mean I'm at unremitting soup. Tidings. 99p, 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 99p tins, 99p eggs, 99p Ooh. dental care kit. Oh. Where are the blenders? No. No. No, damn you. I realize. Standing before the last shelf in this entire accursed building. They don't have blenders at all, dude. There are not any blenders here. He. Giles. He. Excuse me, sir? Uh, uh, ah, hello, young lady. Uh, how may I help you? Yes, hi. You've been traipsing around the store, uh, generally causing a commotion, screaming about monkeys and blenders and stuff. Monkeys? Screaming about apes, ma'am. All right, we're on the same page. Super duper. Ha <laughs> ha, super duper indeed. Which reminds me, I I'm going actually... to need to ask you to reduce your volume, however. You're disturbing other customers, and if you continue to make a scene, I'm going to ask you to leave, okay? No, it was not okay. I could tell just staring at her. Smiling face mm. raised, dimple saccharine tone. A predator laid beneath it all. <laughs> this was a beast hiding uh, behind a be, facade uh... of nicety. In the great fiction of my life, she was destined to be an antagonist. Oh, uh, certainly, miss. My name's Polly. It says so right here on my name tag. <laughs> and so you can also see that I'm the manager of this happy little store. Manager, eh? Well, consider this issue managed. I do. Apologize and shall lower my tone. I really think that's for the best. Thank you so 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 much for being super understanding. <laughs> okay, just listening of to course, her is grating on me. You know, it's like I can get carried away uh, at times for sure. See, it tends old to happen. There we go. See aisle three. That's where all our kitchenware is. Though sadly, we do not sell blenders. A shame, because I've brought 99p with me. Super. And. <sighs> I was intending to use it on a blender. It was more or less the entire reason I was here. Oh, shucks, that's too bad. Is it? Because, you know, failing to sell me a blender now I might lose you a customer. Maybe you should have considered the kitchenware store next door. They sell blenders. Well, yes, but... Now, uh... I've got to go, sir, but best of luck. Have a hunky-dory evening. Mm. She yeah. vanished into the folds of her... Placid, parasitic parlor. <laughs> Reading between the lines, one could pick up her subtle message. Continue to question the status quo. Question why we don't have blenders. And you will be disappeared. I will uh, certainly uh, bruh. It doesn't matter. Leaving this place in defeat, that would be a truer death than any I attempted in all my years of hunting. But why? I could imagine a quarrelsome <laughs> wizard asking. Is it so damn important for you to obtain this blender? Just, just go to a blender store. Steal it if you want. This is asinine. <laughs> steal, yeah, steal I it if you want. Imagine the words vividly. But Kevin, whether real or imagined, oh couldn't understand real what was at stake. 
Why would I be so motivated to seek a blender at a 99p store? Was it purely so that I could show that miserable little scallywag that, indeed, he might not be able to get a blender at a 99p store? But Big D certainly could. I have hunted werewolves, vampires, magi, and more. I can handle an outlet store. No. No, you really can't, dude. This is a completely different yes, animal. Yes, 100%! I'd show that pubeard bastard! I'd show them all! But... It would only be a mere 100% of the equation. What? For Big D, he never does things 100%. Oh my god. He does them 1000%! Oh dear god, Which, what is he doing? Uh, reduced for the ease of calculations would be translated to a mere 10%. <clears throat> So 10% of why I was doing this was to personally spike Kevin. Uh, no, it's 99.999%. I <laughs> sat down on a pile of sponges and interrogated my reasoning. A pile of sponges? This place. I had seen this place in thousands of other forms. In that ghastly urban sprawl that riddles the modern world like a disease. Brands with names that wind the whole world round, tear deep into the heart of the community. Not it's wrong. The life, culture, and variety from each hidden corner of our earth. Also In not that wrong. Place, a relentless spew of convenience. Strip malls, department hmm. stores, casinos, palm oil plantations. Wait, what? A panoply of bright, carcinogenic distractions designed more to pacify mankind than fulfill them. Hmm. Well, then. It's not a bad observation, Let really. Let us see the might of this convenience. The blood of shattered dreams is an expensive price to pay. One that the metal to you so potent and ungent must produce a work of great power. What? I needed to see that power. I needed to be sure of it. A blender must be in my hands. Prove to me your might, you grey slag society! Show me freedom from want! Paradise in my hands, you bastards! And so, I will do as the ghastly manager lady suggested. With a twist! I shall go to the store next door. I shall steal a blender from their upside's assortment. Then, I shall walk back in here, oh slap my, my price tag on the blender, and purchase it for the price I came for, damn it! <laughs> Seriously, dude? <laughs> Brilliant! Dear Deny God. me now, That's delusional, that's deranged, Deny me man. now, Polly! Strike me down, God! If you are able, I am unassailable! Sir. I am... Sir? Not now. Sir? Not now. Kevin. Not now! Oh! Giles! Giles. <laughs> yeah, uh, you've been, you been sitting on them sponges for the better part of an hour. An hour? They're, uh, compressing. They're losing oh, all their sponges. Giles. I knew you cared. We're closing, sir. Right? About sponges? The entire place, Giles. This entire den. It's completely without blenders. Damn it! Well, uh, not completely. Oh, my body stood before shit. as if struck by lightning. Oh, oh my god. Um, what? Listen, you're a true blue nutter, and at this point, I ain't even interested in your bus. I can't believe you'd even say that. But, you were plenty nice to me. Oh. And worse than that, I'll get the feeling that you won't leave. So you got what you want. Correct! <laughs> ah, now that's just enough. <laughs> All right. We got a blender. In the break room. It's shot. It barely works. If I'll let you have it, will you just go about your evening? Hmm. No. D mm, no. Fine! You're lost, then. Last time I tried being helpful to some tomato old foolish buffer. man. I do not want you to give me this blender. I wish to buy it. What? What? What's even the point of that? It is my final offer. Otherwise, I shall continue to cause embarrassment and disturbance to your store until the paint peels from the shock of my fuel. <laughs> For the love. Fine. Oh, Just shut your garb and follow Glad me. We could come to an arrangement, Giles. <laughs> Keep testing me, mate, and our arrangement's gonna include a proper throttling. 
Pretty sure he can kick your ass. Victory. One not given by price tags or obedience to the oh my God. order of things, but by a human being. One willing to make a sacrifice on behalf of their fellow man. Giles and his own sanity. Towards the back of the store. Before long, the multicolored sales tags gave way to the dark underbelly of unsorted inventory. On the back end. Sack of lard? Right, just uh, wait here. Don't cause a ruckus. I'll get you your damn blender. I stood as still as my exuberant bones would allow, but I am quaking with anticipation. Oh my god. As I wait, all my senses flare up. <sighs> thinking rapidly, I become aware of my breath. My nostrils start sucking in the rank aroma of this space. I am caught off guard by something. No more did burnt plastic burn through my senses. In oh? Eyes, I beheld intense warps of earth and iron. Familiar scent. And no too familiar scent. What did he just stumble into? Yet all around me stood the same piled boxes of unshelved inventory. There was no clear sign of what this potent earthen smell was. My feet have started to move. Where are you going, feet? Ah, towards a door, of course. There are two of them here, buried behind the boxes. One, no doubt, <laughs> leading to Guile's breakthrough. And the other contained a far less certain destination. My curiosity swells. The secrets tempt me. They are pulling me in. I step forward. Oh, My God. arms rip forth like whips. Before I even know it, the door is open. <laughs> what the? See who opened this door? Hello? Anyone here? That's weird. My voice. That's pretty suspicious. The dark cement corridor. If anyone had heard me, I did not make that presence known. The feeling here is malodorous, intense. Sure is taking Giles a long He's time to get back place. with that blender. All he has to do is unplug the damn thing. The violently ominous atmosphere is too dissimilar from our cellar back home. Oh, God. I navigated calmly, mentally cataloging all that I find. Not at this much. Not a sliver of inventory is found in this hall. No doors lining the gray walls. Just a stretch of dry cement leading deeper to... What? Something. Mm. Let there be light! Oh, he found a switch. Oh. oh. Here's a flashlight. And what is this now? Whoa. I believe I found the source of the smell. A pit. In the dark depths of this innocuous 99p store, I have found a pit! Why? Because of course, <clears throat> Yeah. It was true. not too dissimilar from the pit I found Kevin in the month prior. Or my secret one. <laughs> His this secret one, pit. However, it broke through the cement of this hall with clear intent. This hole was manufactured. As expected, the pungent smell was strongest from here. Wet, loamy soil assailed my nostrils. Images of dreary, open graves rushed my mind. What could be hiding in its depths? Hmm. Curiosity mounted. I took forth a coin and flipped it into the void. I listened. Uh, didn't you do that money to buy the blender? Nothing. Whoa, that's deep. Why? How deep was this hole? Or did the coin land on something soft and inaudible? I am ecstatic! <laughs> a small distraction of the world of blenders and capital has seen me uncover yet another unseen mystery. Where does this pit lead? Why is it here? Does a beast lurk below? Uh, could this be some hidden meeting place? A I gap the feeling between that space exactly and time? A clue to some wider conspiracy that has been under my nose this entire time? The possibilities are endless. Enchanting. But... Hesitating. 
hesitating. What on earth is going on? What are these pissants doing to my brain? Why am I preventing myself from braving the bowels of this vile store? Come on now, crack fists, crack back, crack ass. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Down we go. Oi, 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 Kevin! What are you doing here? Uh, uh Giles. Ah, oh, fuck. That's right. You. Ah, uh, we're not supposed to be here. Come on out. Now. He's upset. He knows something. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. I thought the blender was in here. It's not, mate. Look, I got your blender right here. Please, can you just go now? I'll check you out right quick and you can be on your way and just, just go! An intersection. Hmm. This pit I have discovered. It is clearly wrong. A madness in the mundane. Something not meant to be. As a hunter, it is my duty to understand, and if necessary, oppose whatever mysterious happenings this pit may be related to. Yeah, but you might want to come back later, dude. And yet, I had a task here. A purpose. Mm. To prove Kevin wrong, 100%! Uh, uh. To oppose this hulking <clears throat> edifice, 300%! And lastly, to replace my son-in-law's blender, 600%! But to reject this mystery here and now, to avoid just throwing myself down this hole, what would that mean? He's gonna throw himself down? What an idiot. Hmm. How silly I am. How could I be so blind? That would mean victory! It would be winning against fate, succeeding in this hero's journey, performing the impossibility set against me by the doxa of this rotten society. Oh my god. Yeah. He's gonna jump yes! in. Yes! This pit, it's a distraction. <clears throat> fate oh no. working against me, trying to trip me up at the finish line by hurling a great mystery at my feet. I will not be overwhelmed. Do you hear me, you foul concept? My fervent sense of adventure shall not overcome me this day! How long has he been standing there? Uh, I'm so sorry, Giles. Please, escort me from this dank little cavern. And, uh, perhaps the manager of yours should consider managing this child safety hazard in her fucking store? Mm, yeah. As if that'll happen. We're built on an abandoned chalk mine shaft, mate. Oh. Ain't nothing to manage. Ah! Is it a... Safe to continue operating here, then? <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> uh, but what's a bloke to do? Just come on over and we'll settle this. Oh, so it's anyway, an old mine shaft. I they, approach. They go down. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just watch the floor there. It's wet. <laughs> So he goes in there to wash the floor? What dastardly secrets await Big D at the bottom of this mysterious yeah. pit? Will he ever get his hands on the 99p blender? Will Kevin explode Great Yarmouth with his mind beam? Tune in <laughs> next time to find out as our big hero's journey continues in part two. You have listened to an audio log by Ogre Papanam. Okay. With voice work by Speaker D as Big D, Hulky Crow as Giles, Saskia Douglas as Polydora, and Arendil as Kevin. Background art by Irony Rokul, Garrett, Carl the Deranged, <clears throat> And avatar art by Inktooth, Garrett, and Rude Rubicante. Soundtrack by Macker, as well as a track sampled from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines ah, by cool. Rick Chafer. Sound composition by Elif Biopsa and Carl the Deranged. Mixing by Stringstorm. But he did not by pronounce that correctly. Carl that was the weird. <laughs> and the Le Fiopsa. Video Le composition Fiusa. by. Okay, this is definitely Garrett a Texas speech. And then. The it's Alpha Biopsa. It's Alpha Biopsa. With dude. lead writers, Le Fiopsa and Speaker <laughs> D. 
Special thanks to Blessed for detailing his commute to and from work as well as the layout of his house in the form of Discord voice chats in our weekday project server. What? And our Patreon and YouTube membership members whom we give the biggest sloppiest thanks to. Look at them go. Oh, there's something here. I mean, if you can. Understandable if you can't. This is designed to be listened to in truth. The Man. visuals are merely hubris on our part. Yeah. They got a lot of patrons. Sometimes one name will, will suddenly, you know, catch my eye and my eye. I'll just go whoop. Okay, this is gonna go on for a while. Ah, avatar tier. So you get an avatar if you donate enough. Cool. Work in progress. Portions of the materials are the copyrights and trademarks of Paradox <clears throat> Interactive AB and are used with permission. All rights reserved. For more information, please visit worldofdarkness.com. Yeah, Visit patreon.com slash alphabusa for updates See? every that other week. Said it right. Outro narration by Stringstorm. That's me! Thank you for listening. Okay, it's not a text speech, it's just a guy. Holy shit, he wound up in the real world. In 1964. Two young boys ran around in the forest and accidentally found the local corpse pit where they accidentally necromanced their grandmother back to life. Wait, what? You won't find any remnants of these corpse pit now, but this place back in the day used to be filled with bodies. Now and then again, though, some entrepreneur comes along and dumps one of their bodies right here as a local tradition <laughs> local tradition what the fuck on our way shall we oh oh jeez we're traveling in the footsteps of the boys all of you probably know the story already but back in the days this used to be a dirt road and now it's asphalt yeah it still does taste like shit. <laughs> Let us continue. <laughs> okay. This is the exact river, the very same that the boy crossed. Over there is where grandmother built an entirely functional, mint-conditioned working boat out of driftwood. You see, back in the days, what? the old people, they knew how to do that. Because they weren't busy fetching Pokemon creatures. <laughs> <laughs> However, she couldn't swim. Nice. She was an odd bird like that. Yeah. This spot right here is where the boy swam to. He swam here to escape. I wish I could do the same. There's a duck. And that's how you escape. This has nothing to do with the story. I'm just an alcoholic. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is not a healthy way to be, dude. That's what we know of the boy so far. His brother dead. And his grandmother hot on his heels with a shotgun in our hands. What, dude? But recently, experts have discovered just where she went. Are we going to see a 99p store sometime?
What? She went closer than you think. She came here. To your bedroom. What? Your bedroom. She's closer than you think. She's Jump very scare? close. This is an abyss. Okay. Scary, but, <clears throat> but who knows? Hides in the darkness. Grandmother? Perhaps. But that's not important. What is important, however? Will the darkness hide you? What? What the hell even was that? Okay. Well, um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you're weirded out by it. I was. Especially that bit at the end. Uh, like this video, subscribe, guys. Click on the link to the original. Like and subscribe over our Brother Alpha Abuse's channel. Um, yeah, I still say this is what, uh, bi uh, the Emperor was doing during, um, during the 20th, 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 21st century. And I'll see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye-bye.